Hello, everyone. This is Pastor Kelly coming at you. Uh, I was asked by a few people to make this video about uh, what I feel is a prophetic dream I had. I don't usually speak out on things like this, and I've had these kind of dreams for years, and they generally come true. Uh, as a matter of fact, last night I had a dream. Uh, I'm not going to go into it, but uh, basically it was me uh, of me dying and things, and lo and behold, I woke up today to a phone call from my best friend that his cancer's back and he's got three months to live, so, you know. But I'm going to tell you about this one because I'm not sure what this one's about, and I want folks to tell me what they think it's about. The dreams is like this. I was standing on a hill, a small little grade, if you will. The vivid landscape, I always dream vividly. Uh, brown dirt, uncut winter wheat, and old straw, uh, tares, if you will, growing through it. There was a huge crowd of people gathered around and Half of them were listening to me, and I was preaching. And half of them were just meandering around, just, uh, uh, I don't know, like they weren't already even there or listening to anything. None of them were saying anything. Not a word was said by no one uh, but me. And it was eerie. It was eerie. I was preaching about the two sparrows in uh, Matthew 10, 29. And... Uh, you know, I always love those verses. It, 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 it's Jesus is trying, it's telling folks exactly how much his Father, Lord God above, loves us. You know, he was. I was preaching about, you know, two sparrows are sold for a farthing, uh, and, and one of them shall not fall to the ground without the Father knowing this. But, and he knows every hair on your head. It's numbered. Ye are of more value than many sparrows. And I love that part of it, but I'm not going to get preaching. I'm going to continue the dream. Man, I could keep going. I love preaching on that Matthew 10 there. But as I was preaching, there was a short, blonde-headed woman. She started backing up toward me. Now, her face, her front of her body was never toward me, only the back of her body. And she started backing toward me, and I asked her what she wanted, what she doing while she's backing toward me. At the same time, as I, as she continues backing toward me, she she just inches from backing into me. She she moved her her body, her arms, and her middle body. Uh, I don't know how in the world she did it, but she twisted to the left with a black sackcloth bag, and as in one one swoop. She covered my head with this bag. Well, as I struggled to get free from this, I'm still preaching. And I, I hollered out, I said, I confess Jesus' name to all. And I, Lord above, I have never denied his glory, nor will I. And this is why I'm preaching in, in, the, uh, in the dream. And as I continued preaching and, and, and witnessing and testifying to Jesus' name and how they should find Jesus. And I'm doing all this. And at the same time, she's pulling tighter and tighter on there's a string in the bottom of that bag. It's kind of like a draw sack. She's pulling tighter and tighter till she's pulled me down and she's dragging me forward. And as I'm reaching more, I can feel everything starting to turn black. But before that, I could see through that sack you know, I hate to, I don't know how to describe it. It's like looking through a cloth that's right against your face. You can see, but you can't. I never did see her. I could just feel her, and I could feel her evilness pulling me back. And the only thing I could think of was I'm not going to silence. She's not going to silence me. And she kept a silence of me and, and trying to silence me. And the next thing I know, I blacked out and woke up. The only thing I, you know, I never did know who she was or even have an inkling of who she might be. All I know is she was evil, and she wanted to hush and silence God's word, period, point blank. Uh, I know some were listening, but most were in, as if they were in a daze. I know this was a prophetic dream. I dream of things that may come to pass. I know telling folks about this in the chat rooms gave me chill bumps. 
just like I'm getting right now telling you right now on this video, I've got, you know, chill bumps on goosebumps on chill bumps, which tells me that the Lord gave me this message for some reason uh, for me to discern, you know. The Bible tells us that the young, your sons and daughters will prophesy and the young men will see visions and old men will dream dreams. Well, you know, I'm just a year, well, a year and a half away from what the Bible considers old men, which is 50. I'll be 50 in a year and a half. So, I, you know, maybe I've started early. I don't know. I've always had prophetic dreams of things. I dream things and come to pass, whether it be deaths or births or what have you. I've always done that. And But now this one here, the message I'm getting from this and what I've thought about it and I've talked to others about it, I've, I've, I've prayed on it. Oh, mercy, have I prayed and prayed and prayed on it to, to the Lord, please discern this dream for me. The only thing I know that it could be is the Lord's telling me to tell folks that there is a woman out there, a woman of power, a woman of evil. And if she comes to power, she is going to silence or try to silence God's word, period, point blank. They're trying to silence God's word. And and the person is a woman, and, and, and I'm not saying that it's Hillary Clinton. I'm not saying that. Uh, there was a lady in uh, Pam, I believe, in the chat room said that it, but it, Jezebel wants to silence. And yes, Jezebel, her, her first thing would be to silence the Lord's word. But evil comes in many shapes and sizes and forms. The Bible shows us that. that you know, you know, you have Delilah, you have Jezebel. There's two good examples right there of, of evil coming in a woman's size. I don't know who this was. I'm not going to sit here and tell you who this was. All I'm telling you is, the Lord give me this dream. That woman is out there. She's out there right now, and she is she is bent on silencing His word. Well, I'm bent on getting His word out there. I'm bent on letting folks know that Jesus Christ came. He taught. He died. He suffered. He bled for your sins. And he was buried in the ground for three days. And he rose again, just like he said he would. He kept his word to us. Then he'll keep it now. If you believe upon him, you shall be saved. And I, I, I will preach that. I will preach that. If you, if you believe on to Jesus and you confess with your mouth, and you believe with all your heart, you shall be saved. And I will get that message out until I die, or until that woman comes and chokes me with a bag. I don't know who it is. I know it's a prophetic dream, and I know it's, and I know it's going to come to pass. And I pray that you folks get this message and pass it around and get it out there. And you guys discern it. You guys let me know. You guys pray on it. You guys ask God to help discern this dream for us. But it is prophetic, and I really, really, really do pray that all the, all of my fellow Christians, my brothers and sisters in Christ out there, will help me discern this dream. Well, God bless you. We love you. We love you here from Hardway Mountain. We really do. But just remember, Jesus loves you more because he gave all for you. Amen. Praise God. We love you. And uh, Pastor Kelly's going to sign out of here. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.